Hey everyone, it's Mark for Windows Central and today we are taking a look at what's new for build 10525 for Windows 10. Not a lot of big changes here, however, let's go to settings, personalization, and colors. So uh, the options, the three options here, they've been there before uh, and this is actually off by default. It's a show color on start taskbar and action center. So by default, if you go to start, it's a uh, dark black or dark gray. Uh, background color for start, uh, also the taskbar, and also for action center here. However, if I turn this on, uh, take a look at action center, it turns blue. Also the taskbar, uh, it becomes blue. Also start, the background color turns blue. Uh, the color depends on your background. Uh, that's because my option here is automatically pick an accent color from my background, but I can change that. Let me uh, change that to red. And uh, now, as you can see here, my action center is red. Taskbar is dark red. Also, the start background color is red. Uh, but what's new in build 10525 is you could also see that color on top of your app windows. So here's the store. The top of the app window is reddish or pinkish. Uh, let's change that to like green. So there you go, the top of the app window is now green. This also works for File Explorer. So you can see here the top of File Explorer is now green. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Surface here, the Surface 3, which hasn't been updated to build 10525. Uh, same three options here. You have your automatically pick an accent color from your background. Also show color on Start, Taskbar, and Action Center. See, that's on right now. And uh, Action Center here is, uh, is currently red. However, if I open up File Explorer, the top of the app window is still white or light gray instead of uh, that red color. So that's basically it, a new option for uh, your personalization colors. Uh, not a lot of other changes that I see so far, but for more details, on this update, head over to windowscentral.com.